Hello and welcome. This is Stevenson News. I am Veronica Danik Boy. The entire nation was in grief this time last year after receiving the sad news of the killing of one of Nigeria's best and bravest soldiers, Lieutenant Colonel Muhammad Abu Ali. The fearless Lieutenant Colonel had been a major headache for Boko Haram insurgents before the firefight that led to his death. Tessa Makende tells us how one year on, the memory of this gallant soldier is still being told by not just colleagues, but also his family. His was a story of one who dealt a cruel blow on terrorists. He was loved for his bravery and gallantry against enemies of peace. But Muhammad Abu Ali died in the battlefront on November the 4th last year alongside six of his colleagues in the Northeast. It's one last tale described by several as too many. They went after the adversary to smoke them out of their enclaves, bomb their factories and staging areas. These turned the tide of battle to liberate Nigeria from the scourge of terrorism. The death of the fine officer left his wife Samira a widow and two children. But Abu Ali is just one out of several other heroes lost to insurgents, leaving many women widows. The widows have now formed an association to press home their demands for better welfare from Nigeria. They insist that the death of their husbands while in service of their fatherland must not be forgotten. I know how soldier's wife suffered because of issue of Meduguri problem. This charity foundation was established after the death of my husband, late Lieutenant Kone Kabiri Yusuf. The family house of the Abu Ali's in Kaduna looked deserted when we visited. But prior further, we caught up with Hawa, his younger sister. She told us the rest of the family had gone to Kogi State to visit their father. Brigadier General Abu Ali retired. There she said prayers were to be offered for the deceased. I really miss him. He was such a good person. He was so good to all of us and he was a good example. We miss him. But well, what can we do? There's nothing. But he's so nice and close. It's been difficult getting over the loss, especially as Mohammed Abu Ali was a humble but dagger fighter. Gentleman, nice and loving. And a caring father to his kids. My plan is to stand by my kids and take care of my kids and bring them up the way he wants them to. Her was says they are still battling the pain which they believe only time could heal. It's the same story for several widows who have lost their husbands to the insurgency war. The family members who are devout Muslims have been praying for the repose of the soul of Muhammad Abu Ali. They wish for Allah to grant slim as he was fondly the called Aljana Fidalsi, translated to be the highest place in paradise according to Islamic tenets. Tassam Akendi, TVC News, Kaduna.